Hi Sagittarius, this is Billy Jo with Moon Goddess 114433. I am bringing you a look at what's coming towards you in love, what's going to happen in your love life in the next month. Now, I do intend for my videos to be timeless, so whether you watch this right now, which is October 2019, and I'm looking towards November, or if you watch it six months from now, or a year from now, then it's intended for you at the time that the universe brought it to your attention, whenever you watch it. Um, do you remember, these are general readings. Only take what resonates and throw out the rest. If you need a personal reading from me, all information is down in the description box. So... Sagittarius could be, it's not just your sun, it could also be your, let's see, it could be sun, moon, rising, it could be in your Venus, especially since we're talking about love life. You could be cross-watching. So what's coming for you, Sagittarius? Sagittarius. So... We have the Ace of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, the Emperor, and the Devil. Spirit, please, please clarify the Ace of Wands. Clarify the Ace of Wands. We have the the Seven of Wands. Please clarify the Six of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Please clarify the Emperor. We have the Ten of Cups. Please clarify the Devil. Please clarify the devil card. Ten of Swords. Bottom of the deck is the Two of Swords. So, Two of Swords is about being in a stalemate. Um, she's trying to, to aim that sword blindfolded. It's like... Wanting to make a move, but if you actually throw the sword, are you going to chop your cat's head off? You know, underneath the Two of Swords is the Nine of Cups. You know, that's wish fulfillment. So you're trying to figure out what direction and what way to make your wishes come true. So, we're going to use some Oracle cards for further clarification on these. Please clarify... This Ace of Wands and Seven of Wands. We have Slow and Steady. Move this back a little bit. Okay. Spirit, please clarify the Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Sagittarius. The Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Unexpected Visitors. Spirit, please clarify the king of, oh no, that's the emperor, I'm sorry. Duh. 
please clarify the Emperor and the Ten of Cups for Sagittarius. Please clarify the Emperor and the Ten of Cups. We have Coming Apart. Excuse me. Spirit, please clarify the Devil and the Ten of Swords. Please clarify the Devil and the Ten of Swords. We have Home. The bottom of this deck is Rescue. So, so there's just a really strong sense of, you know, it's like you don't know what decision to make. You want your dreams to come true when it comes to love, but um, it's like you're really wanting someone to come along who's, who can give you clarity on what decision to make, on how to move forward. You, you want someone to come along who's got the answers, who can see into the future, so to speak, and tell you, no, you need to do this and you need to do that. Um, so that's this, the energy that I'm picking up right now. Um, so we have the Ace of Wands. So with the Ace of Wands, Aces are always new beginnings. Now with the Wands... That's a new beginning in action. So something has just sparked into life. Something has created. It's making like this whirlwind in your life of uh, passion, excitement. The seven of wands. You know, it's clarified by the seven of wands. People around you may not agree with this new beginning. They... Um, even though it's passionate and it sparks your interest and everything, other people in your life probably like, no, this person doesn't fit. They have their own opinions. They're casting their opinions on you. They may pro be projecting their, their beliefs onto you. And then we have slow and steady, the number 12. So with those all together, I'm just mainly seeing... There's this new beginning in your life. There's this new person. There's this new spark when it comes to love, romance, passion. And you're really, you're anxious and you're really excited and you're really, you want to take this new leap, but you're hearing everyone else's is opinions and um, they're projecting their thoughts and everything on you. And it's making you hesitate. It's making you, you know, with the slow, the slow and steady, I'm mostly getting more of a, a hesitation and not knowing which way to go. You want something secure, you're, but yet passionate. And it's making you doubt that this person is actually the one for you. You're starting to doubt your own opinions, your own thoughts, your own desires, we have the Six of Pentacles with the Seven of Pentacles and the Unexpected Visitors. Again, this person was unexpected in your life. This is someone who's actually, so far you've seen that they are equal give and take with you. They give and receive equally to you. And um, someone who's very generous and giving and they're willing to work hard towards this relationship. They're willing to work hard towards progress when it comes to your love life. And it's like you really wasn't looking for love. You wasn't looking for commitment. But unexpectedly, there it is. Okay. Then you have the emperor. Again, someone committed. Someone willing to take the lead. You have the ten of cups. They want to be the emperor to your empress. You know, the coming apart. So this person is someone that you can find true love with. 
Um, this is someone who's willing to be proactive with you, um, put the work into it. But then because of, you know, these, these other opinions flying at you, um, people making, you know, sometimes people are, are intending well for your well-being and your happiness, but only you can decide where your happiness is going to come from. You know, uh, I had a, a, a great grandmother who, bless her heart, she always intended well. She loves her children and grandchildren and all them, but she was very quick to give you free advice. And that free advice didn't always um, sit well because her point of view, where her life has been, her life experiences didn't always resonate with someone else's life experiences. And that's what you have to understand, especially you have coming apart. So it's like you're having to break free from um, uh, these other people's opinions and decide, do I go, you know, do I question my own inner voice? Do I question my own heart? Do I follow my heart? Or do, you know, you're stuck between your head and your heart, basically. Um, the logic, listening, oh, well, what they say is making sense, but... It's like it's breaking your heart at the same time. And you really just don't know. It's like you don't know what decision to make to make your dreams come true. We have the devil card. The devil card has to do with temptation. It has to do with addictions. Temptation, lust, desires. It's clarified by the ten of swords. So I'm getting a strong sense. This has to do with your past. And people are making these assumptions and these opinions due to choices you've made in the past. They, in these choices that led for your downfall. But the Ten of Swords is an end of the cycle. So you're coming to the end of that cycle. The number 27 for home, which breaks into the number 9, is closing the cycle. And this person is someone, you know, you have the light shining through the window and you have the opportunity to go through that door. You know on the other side is this bright light. The sun is coming on up in the horizon. What decision are you going to make? So Spirit, please give us clarity on what's going to happen with this new person. This new spark. This passionate new relationship. You know, what's going to happen if they choose to block out the naysayers and go with their heart? Material harvest. Well, that's going to be a prosperous. It's going to be prosperous, abundant. The waiting game. So you're still going to have to put the work in. It's, it, you know, you're going to have to let the roots grow deep into the soil. You know, and then... We have the number five for wisdom, which in the regular tarot is the Hierophant, which to me is a commitment card. It's spiritual growth. You know, he's looking at this family. Here he is. It's like he's holding the Holy Scriptures and he's looking at this family. And light comes from the Scriptures, wisdom, spiritual growth. And it also ha represents um, the commitment of a traditional relationship. You're going to finally get what you want. Bottom of the deck was prosperity begins. So following your heart is going to lead to your prosperity. You know, you're going to have to come apart from the naysayers. You're going to have to break apart. You're going to have to say, listen, that's your projection of my relationship. And I do not accept it. I know what my heart tells me. And I'm going to follow its lead. You know, it's time for you to end the these these past cycles that lead to pain and heartbreak. I'm going to pull you a crystals oracle card. You got jet, and it says earthy and grounding. This true black 
mineraloid variety of coal is an ancient fossilized driftwood. Who needs it in paths and witchy types? Where to put it to clear a physical space or your body of uninvited vibes? See, those people projecting their opinions swipe jet over the affected area and tell toxic energy, spirits, intentions to peace out. When to use it? When asking for guidance from elsewhere. Think, seance, guided meditation, hardcore tarot session. Jet can take the edge off of high vibe stones like moldavite and serpentine and is a wise old friend to bring as your plus one wherever your triggers are sure to be on the guest list. Claim your space. Tell them other, other people say peace out. Deuces. Deuces. <clears throat> so let's get one last card for you. Let's get a love note from the universe, from source, from the divine, specifically for you, Sagittarius. It says, you needn't worry. There's no one in your life who hasn't always loved you. They're all just learning how to show it. Big sillies the universe. So even when you tell them deuces out, peace out, mind your own business, let me make my decisions, they're still going to love you. Them just telling their free advice, that's their way of showing you that they care. They just want the best for you. You just got to learn to tell them to butt the fuck out. Okay? So I hope this resonated. If it did, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Y'all have a great month.